Good morning, students. Today we will discuss the last experiment, system experiment, which is temperature control using PID and relay circuits. You can clearly see the setup. Look at this switch. The switch. This, if I press the switch to up, it will uh, go into the relay mode, and if I press it down, it will go into the PID mode. Uh, three knobs are already given there. This one, the first one is to control the proportionality constant. The second one is for integral constant to change. And the third one is derivative constant. You can see the index here. <coughs> you can see the display. This display displays the temperature of the oven for which today we are going to control the temperature. First of all, if you look at the table, uh, observation table which you have to make, look at the table. The first one corresponds to on off, then P, then PI, and then PID. On off simply means uh, relay system. Okay. <coughs> Uh, you can see the observation table uh, one column corresponds to time in seconds and second column corresponds to temperature in degree centigrade so in this experiment what we have to do is first of all we have to set the temperature the reference value of the temperature using this sp sp corresponds to set point okay using this set point knob you can uh, change the set value which is the desired value of the in the oven you can set any value, oh, normally we take 50 degree centigrade, so I am also giving it 50 degree centigrade. Now this is, the 50 degree centigrade is the set value. Then we will switch on to Woven. Okay, first of all we will go into the relay mode. Once we go into the relay mode, we will uh, switch on the heater on. Now, as the heater is on, the temperature of the oven will start rising. It will start from 25.5 to, it will continue on. And since this is relay, the current will also change accordingly what we have to do is simply after every 5 or 10 seconds interval as you can see the table after every 5 or 10 seconds interval we will continuously note down the temperature of the system how it is increasing and we continuously note down the current passing through the relay <coughs> we have to use a stopwatch and after every 10 seconds we have to note down the temperature of the oven we have to note down the current in the relay circuit now everybody know how the relay system works. If you look at the graph of the relay system, this is the output graph as you can see which fluctuates around the set point and the second graph is for the current passing through the relay. Whenever the tem uh, actual temperature of the oven is less than the set point, the relay will be on, it will give us a high value, the current will pass through the relay as you can see here and the uh, temperature inside will increase when the temperature is higher than the set point the relay will be off so current will become zero and uh, temperature will go down like this uh, the relay system will work by giving us some fluctuations around the set point oscillations around the set point in relay mode we have to continue the experiment until uh, the output becomes a little bit stable value it will increase decrease increase decrease once we get that value stable value of maximum peak and minimum peak we will stop the experiment now once we stop the experiment simply means we have to off the heater and then switch on the fan here you can see the fan switch the moment you switch on the fan and the heater is off the, temp the fan inside the oven will start and the temperature will start decreasing the temperature will start decreasing so that we will uh, we can continue with the next part once the temperature reaches the room temperature then again we can start with the next part which comes to the PID mode okay in this PID controller mode uh, we will do it step by step as you can see the observation table first we will do with only P controller then PA and then PID so first of all we will do with only P controller so I will make all the remaining terms to these terms are all zero okay only P control will be there and uh, we will choose some random value let us suppose I am choosing randomly 4 okay no, I think this uh, 26.1 degree is sufficient today according to the room temperature right then we will start the set point is always same it will be fixed at 50 degree centigrade now we will see how the PID controller will work to maintain the desired temperature at 50 degree centigrade we will switch on to oven we will switch on the of the fan we will switch on the heater the moment we switch on the heater it will start heating the oven will start heating and the temperature will be noted again in terms of uh, in intervals of 10 seconds 
again in this experiment also as per the relay we have to note down both the temperature of the bobbin and the current passing through it If you observe the rise of the temperature, it increases very very slowly in case of proportional controller. The temperature will not uh, meet up to the mark until the proportional value is sufficient enough. If the proportional constant is very very small, the temperature will rise very very slowly and it may not reach that desired set point also. Once the value of the woven becomes a steady state value it, uh, when it reaches the steady part we can stop the experiment and we simply again heater will be off and fan will be on again to bring the woven to room temperature once the temperature reaches uh, the room temperature we can next we can go to the next part that is using PI controller. Now, one point that should be remembered here is uh, look at this button. This button should be on whenever we are using an integral controller. Otherwise, this button should be off. Okay. Next part will be using integral controller. Let us suppose I will choose P will remain same. Let us suppose I choose I equal to 5. As you can see here, I will be equal to 5. Again, now we will start. Fan will be off, heater will be on, again the experiment starts, every 10 seconds interval we have to note down the temperature of the woven okay. and then we have to make the table. Now these are a sample readings of the time versus temperature of the woven taken by one of them, my student. You have to make the table. And you have to plot the graphs also. As you can see, these graphs have been plotted using MATLAB, uh, MATLAB uh, software. You can plot with using uh, simple graph paper and pen and pencil and eraser also, or else you can use MATLAB also. Okay, these uh, the values should be written properly. They have to be made drawn. The sample graphs of relay, proportional controller, PI controller, and PID controller are already given in the lab manual. Once you draw the graphs with the values you had obtained, you have to compare the responses, which one is faster, which one is having maximum peak, which one is having less steady state error and so on. You have to compare the graphs and you have to give the conclusions, the response in which area, in which part the response is much better compared to the others. I hope this video will be helpful. Thank you.